And what's in your pockets, guys? It's your Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with you on another Friday evening. So glad to see you all here. And of course, you know, the end of the week is upon us. We've been carrying around this gear all week. Guys, it's time for the Friday Night Pocket Dump. The best gear is the gear you have on you. So guys, if this is your first video, thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you stopping by to watch one of my little videos. If you're a returning viewer, guys, thanks so much for coming back. I appreciate you. I love getting all your feedback every week on the pocket dump. And I like just kind of showing you guys how my EDC evolution's going, how my carry changes from week to week. This week, I'm going to try to do something a little bit different. Um, at I'm going to, okay, of course, you know, every week we do the on-body carry where I show you guys what I'm carrying and exactly where I carry it, how I carry it. Then we'll go over to the bench. I'll talk about the why I'm carrying what I'm carrying. And I also wanted to go over a couple of tips for concealed carriers. I know there's a lot of people out there that may just be getting into concealed carry, or maybe if you've been doing it for a while and you feel like you could use a few tips, I'm just going to go over a couple of little things that I've found so far in, in my concealed carry journey that just makes things a little bit easier and you know it's all these little incremental changes you can make that will really improve that carry for you over time so we're going to get into that towards the end and at the very end of the video i've got something really cool i want to show you guys if you especially if you own a civivi typhius or we typhius i've got a little hack that i came up with that uh is sort of a game changer for me with this blade and if you guys watched my least carried knives of last year, this was one of them. And there was a very particular reason. So we'll get into that at the end of the video. That'll just be kind of a little bonus if you want to hang around for that. But anyway, guys, uh, let's go ahead and get, and get over to the bench and uh, I'll show you what's in my pockets. Okay, guys, so we're over at the bench here and uh, just really quick, I wanted to walk you through it. You know, what I'll normally do is I'll start on the left hand side and I'll just work my way around to the right. Now, we'll say right now I'm carrying a little bit smaller of an EDC kit and I'm going to get into that because I have a pack that I want to show you guys because with the summer months coming up and it getting warmer outside, you know, we do need to uh, you got to start kind of paring down what you're carrying. So anyway, starting from left to right, of course, in my left pocket, I usually keep the phone. This is my stand in phone. This is not the actual phone I carry. It's right there. I'm recording on it <laughs> over here. Uh, my small arm retention knife. I'm carrying the Civivi Typhius. Really super cool little knife. Can't wait to show you guys that and talk a little bit about that. That's the uh, if you stick around to the end, I've got a little hack for this one. It's actually what's allowing me to carry it right here. If you know much about those knives, you know that uh, they're not made for left hand carry. So, and uh, you get the O Hank here, of course. Always got to have the O Hank in our pocket. Oh, and of course, let me go ahead and take this off. Uh, I got the I Mini 2, of course, carry it on a chain around my neck. And I always have that on me, guys, always. I'll go ahead and take off the tick watch too. But if you, you know, if you've watched any of my older videos, you know. Uh, that I always have the uh, Tick Watch Pro on me. I can't tell if I'm holding those up to the camera, guys, because I can't see it. So I'm sorry if the framing on this is not great. I do apologize. Uh, okay, left hand pocket, I mean, right hand back pocket. Sorry, got the mirrored in tactical wallet here. And right now I'm carrying the Demco AD 20.5. And I have a review coming up on that one. It'll be my next knife review. I love this knife, guys. I, I absolutely love it. Um, of course, in the front pocket, as always, got the tactical front pocket by the Knife Eye King. This is actually a... Uh, this one was actually just a sort of uh, beta test for it. But he's got some really uh, some cooler ones now. So, uh, yeah. I'm excited to uh, see what else he's going to come out come out with. Um, and then, yeah, of course, I do always have the Taurus G3C here. <clears throat> and I carry in the Gun and Flower holster, Kydex, with the Ulti clip on it. Uh, it's a great combination. Kydex keeps it nice and secure. The Ulti clip allows me to attach it to just about anything. So, yeah. And I think, I just smacked the microphone. I think that is it. I am wearing, uh, I do have the Vizmix tactical belt on, of course, as always. And uh, I don't have the tourniquet around it right now, just for running around inside the house. 
I, I actually forgot to put it on for the pocket dump, but I normally do have it. Um, oh, I actually have it. It's in my medical kit right now. Um, but it, yeah, if you see my past videos, go check out one of the past pocket dumps. The uh, Velcro looping on here allows you to attach that. Um, it allows you to attach any kind of tourniquet that has a hook and loop will attach to the outside of this and you can just wear it around your waist. It's a really cool way to uh, keep a tourniquet with you all the time, which is something I do recommend. If you, if you don't carry it around your waist, at least carry one in like a medical bag or IFAC or something like that. But anyway, guys, um, let's go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll give you the overhead view and we'll talk about what I'm carrying because it is pared down a little bit. Like I said, it's getting hotter and, you know, you don't want to be carrying around just a whole bunch of extra stuff. You know, uh, summertime it tends to my ADC tends to try to slim down. And that's also a reflection of the clothing. You know, in the winter, you've got uh, heavy long shirts on or hoodies and stuff. It makes it really easy to conceal things around your waist. Um, in a T-shirt, it's not so much. So it really forces you to um, sort of minimize that EDC. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the top down view and I'll just give you guys a quick overview of everything I'm carrying and I'll talk a little bit about a couple of the things that are in there. Okay, guys, I walked you really quick through where I'm carrying everything that I'm carrying and I just wanted to kind of get into the why of things. Now, of course, you know the Vismix tactical belt. Uh, this is something that I kind of sort of recently added and um, I'm super happy with this. It's one of those things that I'm just always going to have on me, the phone, of course, you know, and that's not even the actual phone, but uh, just for demonstration purposes there. The Mirrodin Tactical Wallet, I always have that. Tick Watch Pro doesn't change. You know, a lot of my EDC, I've really kind of settled into how I like to carry everything and where I'm carrying it. What's going to change for me week to week is a lot of times it's going to be the uh, EDC knife that I'm carrying, but a lot of times that's just because I'm working on, I'm working on a review for that particular knife. Um, you know, and I do like to carry them around, get some use out of them and really kind of feel like I know what I'm talking about when I do the review. So I'm not just pulling it out of the box and saying, oh, it's a Demco. It's great. I already know. Um, another thing that I'm, uh, another concept that I've been working on a lot lately is the small arm retention knife. If you've seen my older videos, you know, I've been talking about these. This is uh, if you are concealed carrying a firearm, the concept is that you carry uh, something else another blade on your offhand side or sometimes on the strong side as um, a backup, a means of backup to, you know, if you can't get to your firearm or if someone's trying to take that firearm from you. Um, the small arm retention knife helps you basically either distract or, you know, um, incapacitate someone who is trying to take that firearm away from you. The Taurus G3C is, you know, it's just one of those things that I, I'm in love with the gun. I've carried it for so long. I don't know that I would change it for something else. I'm just so used to it. That's one of the big things about concealed carry is just getting used to what it is that you're carrying around all the time. Uh, and that's another thing about trying to settle into an EDC that works for you because then you get used to where everything is. Um, the tactical front pocket has really helped me with that in allowing me to take these smaller items and really just put them in one place and I know exactly where they are. I can reach inside my pocket and get them out with uh, no trouble. So yeah, really, really a big fan of that, um, of the organization. I think organization is key. Putting things where they go and having somewhere to put everything and then knowing where that place is, you know, and that just comes from repetition and doing it over and over again. I feel like I'm kind of rambling here, guys. I did want to talk about it's getting warmer. And so this is a time of year where it's not a bad idea to start looking at pack carries. Um, you know, you could carry fanny packs. You could carry crossbodies. There's all kinds of there's all kinds of stuff out there. This is one that I found that works really well for me. And I've had this thing in a couple of videos and I can never remember who it is that actually makes it. Um, but what I like about it is it's got compartments here that you could put different things in. It's got this outer compartment that snaps. And I found that that one works really well for my cell phone. Um, I either carry the cell phone on, in there or I have been carrying the uh, tactical front pocket in there sometimes because it just slips right in. 
but yeah, this gives you the option to carry. I mean, everything that's on this table right now, I could, I could easily fit into this bag. No problem. So what this does is it gives you an, uh, the opportunity to offload some of those items off of your body where you're not carrying so much weight around. And in the summer, that can be a real concern because you start wearing lighter clothing. Um, we start wearing less clothing. You know, you start wearing shorts and things like that. It just gets a, a little harder to retain everything around your waist and when you don't have, you know, jeans and a belt and stuff like that. So <clears throat> definitely going to be expanding on the pack carries. And uh, I do have another video coming up on our Ultimate ADC Guide Series where I'm going to talk about getting into pouches and packs and organizers and just different ways of sort of organizing that ADC gear. <clears throat> I do so, want to show you a couple of things, uh, talk about a couple of considerations for concealed carriers. So if you're getting into concealed carry, the first thing that I would say is look at what you can afford. Look what's going to be in your price range. Because like I say, say it with me, guys, the best gear is the gear you have on you. That's right. So if you can afford it and you can carry it around, that's going to be the best thing for you at that time. Find something, do some research, find something that works well for you, but it's not going to break your budget. You know, the main things I would say to look at is reliability capacity um you know reliability is going to be the number one does it fire when you pull the trigger i mean that's job number one for the firearm but you know capacity is a concern i like the g3c because it does allow you to carry uh, it has 12 round mags that come standard with it so you know you've got the 12 rounds you can carry and then plus one in the chamber you know so the, the reason capacity is important is because you know, you can carry one mag around you and have 12, 13 rounds of ammo. So, you know, capacity is definitely one of those things that you want to look at along with reliability. Price range, what you can afford, obviously, you know, like what you can have in your pocket and have on you is going to be better than something that you can't afford. Uh, the next consideration, I would say, find something that you're comfortable with. If you're not comfortable carrying the firearm, you're not going to carry it. So make sure that it's something that you're comfortable with. The G3 or G2 series, the, the any of the Taurus um, compact series, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of because I like having a safety. And this gun does have, you know, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not opposed to the trigger guards and, and the, uh, yeah, the trigger safety. I'm not opposed to that. And, and this gun does have that, but it also has the dedicated safety. And to me, that's just another, another factor for comfortability to me, I guess. I don't know what else to call it other than comfortability. Um, you know, I just like knowing that, you know, I've got that extra safety measure there. Um, you know, if you're comfortable carrying a Glock with no safety and you're comfortable carrying around in the chamber that way, you know, that that's up to you. And again, that's going to be what you're comfortable doing, what you're comfortable carrying. It took me a while. I used to carry a uh, on an empty chamber. I used to carry loaded mag, empty chamber all the time. And I watched enough videos that I just realized that that's, if you're going to carry it, carry it ready to go. That half a second it takes to rack the slide might be half a second you don't have. So, you know, I just watched enough videos of guys saying, Hey man, that's a dead man's gun. Don't carry that way. Um, so I had to get used to carrying with around in the chamber, which is another, just, it's another level of comfortability. And to me, that's one of the biggest things about concealed carrying is you just have to get comfortable. You have to come up with where you like to carry it, you know, what situations you're comfortable carrying in, where you're going to have it on you, um, you know, and that's all, again, it's personal preference. I do recommend guys carry, carry it all the time, sit around the house with it on. That's how you're going to get used to knowing where the best place is to, to hold, to, to clip it onto your belt where are the exact best body positioning places to use. The only way you're going to know that is by just wearing it and, and using it in lots of different situations. And with that, you will gain a, a level of comfort with carrying that firearm on you. And that's the ultimate, that's the ultimate goal is just to make sure that we have it on us, that we're ready to defend ourselves. Um, not a whole lot more to say about uh, the carry this week. I, I did want to 
Um, you know, like I said, I wanted to give you guys a couple of tips on for concealed carriers. And I'm thinking about doing a video on that, just a dedicated video, because I, I've got a lot of other stuff I'd like to talk about. But I don't want this video to be like 30 minutes long. So um, I did promise you guys, as I did promise you. Um, and before I get into that, really quick, if you guys like the video, please leave a like down below. It's free of charge. If you're not subscribed, make sure and subscribe, guys. We are we're producing content all the time, always looking at new gear. I'm always looking at ways to improve mine and your EDC. So follow along on this journey with me, guys. Make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure you have your notifications turned on. We do have our big 500 subscriber giveaway that's coming up, probably going to be next week, I'm hoping. I'm still waiting on one more person to get back to me, and, and you know, you know who you are. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the pocket dump this week. I, I appreciate you guys following along. Go over to Instagram and our tag is average gear review over there. Just lowercase, all lowercase average gear review. And make sure and post your pocket dump from this week with the hashtag TGIF pocket dump. I really, really want to see what you guys are carrying. I love getting the suggestions from you. This is where I've gotten all of my ideas from EDC is from other people. I don't come up with this stuff out of my own brain. Um, you know, just, well, very few things, but some things maybe just particular to me as far as how I carry something or whatever, but most everything it has been recommendations I've gotten from other people. And that's, what's awesome about the ADC community. Uh, there's almost too much information out there, but, uh, you know, Hey, if you need help sifting through that information, guys, I, I got you here. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, last little thing. Let's go back over to the comfy chair and I've got a little safety briefing for you guys. And guys, I just want to one more time say thanks so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. If you guys like the video, I really would appreciate a like. And again, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I did have one more thing I almost forgot to show you guys. I was talking about the uh, Civivi Typhius or the Wee Typhius, if you have one of these. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Typhius, but the Typhius is a transforming knife where it... You can transform it from a push dagger shape to a straight knife. It does not lock in either configuration, but, you know, it's a really cool little transforming knife. And the way that you hold it, it does lock into your hand. So there's not a lot of risk of that actually, you know, like folding up on you. And if it does, it wants to fold towards the non-sharpened side always. So you don't have to worry about it folding up with the blade into your hand here because it doesn't fold that way. Um, and when you're holding it straight, I will say a little thumb pressure on the back of the spine. It, it will still hold its position just because of the way your hand kind of locks it in there. But it's not exactly locked in tight for sure, you know. So it is basically your hand pressure. Um, but if you put pressure with your thumb on the back of the scales there, it just keeps it perfectly, uh, perfectly in position there. I really love this knife when I got it, but it just, it got no pocket time at all because to me, this is more of a small arms retention knife and there's no way to carry it on the weak side. It only comes configured to carry right-handed and in the push dagger configuration. So what I did, and this is super simple, super simple, but if you can see there, what holds it in, actually, let me cover this part up. What holds it in is this notch right here. And you can see how it folds into there and the scales fit into that notch. So that allows you to carry right-handed. So all I did was I just notched out a little bit of the leather to the other side here. And what it allows it to do is it allows it to sit left-handed. So super cool. If you have a Civivi Typhus and you've been wanting to carry it offhand, it's a really super simple fix. Uh, very easy to do, and it will allow you to carry in this left-handed configuration, which, like I said, for me, that's what this knife should have been designed to do anyway. It should have been made for left-hand carry because, to me, this is a backup knife. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. Here's your safety briefing. Have fun. Be safe. Yes, both are possible. Remember, guys, the best gear is the gear between your ears, right? <laughs> Anyway, guys, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Thanks so much for stopping by to join me here for a little bit at the uh, wonderful Bears Den Studios. And uh, I hope I'll see you guys next week. Got some more cool videos coming up over the weekend. So keep your eyes posted. Keep your eyes posted. Keep your eyes peeled for that one. <laughs>
The weekend might have started a little early for the average gear reviewer here. Anyway, guys, hope you have a great one. Remember, always be caring, and the best gear is the gear you have on you. I'm out of here. The best gear is the gear you have on you.